It is 45 degrees outside right now. And while I would love to be cleaning my raised beds, cleaning my flower beds, prepping all of the things that I need to do before I plant all of my tulip bulbs, I just don't enjoy working in the cold. So I have been thinking about making this project for a while now, and I finally got everything that I needed. We are going to be opening a few things together that I got in the mail. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they all look good. But this project started a few weeks ago when I went to one of my local libraries and they redid the whole thing, they did a whole makeover, and they had a bunch of walls of preserved moss. I just fell in love with it. So while I wish that I had the budget to make a huge wall of preserved moss, I just don't have it. So I am going to make a smaller version, just like a small frame, with some of the moss that I got from Amazon and Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna show you all of that in a minute. But I figured I can just record it and share it with you guys because I mean, I just love everything that has to do with plants, right? And even though preserved moss is not a living thing, I mean, it was at some point a living thing. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you can get some inspiration to do something on your own. Let me show you what I have so far. This is the frame that my husband put together last night. Um, I tried to do this by myself. I don't know how to use a hand saw. I'm not even going to try that, but he put this together. The size that I'm going to be making and in total is a two by four. This piece right here is a two by four and the pieces that I used for the frame are one by twos. They are the pre pre-prime one by twos. I'll show you that. In, I think that I have a clip. I got all of these at Home Depot. Um, I am going to put the information here on the screen so you know exactly what they're called. I'm not really sure what they use for, uh, but this is a type of plywood or cardboard, cardboard, I don't know. I watch a lot of videos on how people make their wall art using preserved moss. And I got a lot of ideas. You have a lot of options as far as what kind of frame, what kind of board, what kind of uh, base you're using it. It's just going to depend the size that you want, how you wanna do it, how much you wanna spend on it. I tried to make something that was uh, heavy duty to begin with so that I didn't have to fight with the flimsiness of it. So this thing is pretty heavy, I'm not going to lie. It is pretty heavy, but my husband built it so that it will last for a while. Like this thing is not coming off the wall or it's not falling apart. One of the things that I watch people do is that if they wanted a smaller frame, like let's just say that they're going to use a one by two frame, they visit it local thrift stores or Goodwill or whatever it is that you go to look for secondhand pieces and they bought frames for pictures and all they needed was the frame for it. They didn't have to put anything together. All they did was um, glue the moss into it, paint the frame, and that was it. I visited a couple of places myself. I couldn't find something that was already big. The one piece that I found, I really did not like the frame at all. Just wanted the moss to be the main thing. I, while I do want the frame to also be part of the final project, I don't want the frame to be huge or thick or you know weird looking so I came up with this I am going to first paint my frame and I am going to paint these get it out of the way and then we'll open the moss while the frame is finishing drying I'm going to show you the mask that I purchased I got three different types from Amazon. And I have a bunch from Hobby Lobby. I think that I have enough, but I have never done this, so I don't know. I am going to try to open, like I have two of these guys. I'm just going to open one at a time so that if I don't use the second bag, I can return it. Um, Think that I might be using everything honestly I'm not really sure we'll see but at the end of the video I'm going to put uh, the description on how much everything is uh, going to take to making this two by four piece obviously I want to stay closer to the uh, dollar amount that I spend here so I just have to wait until I finish the whole project I think that's going to be fun because I check these pieces on Etsy 
and a small one by two piece can go from like $100 to $200 depending on what they use. So I'm excited to see how this comes up. So let me open this. this isn't this cool hopefully I can show you a close-up look at this this is what I got from Amazon I believe this is a green number three I spent so much time checking prices, looking at reviews, um, they added this little brush. So I guess if there is stuff on it at the end, it's going to be super messy, but that's okay. So these are what they call, um, this is what they call like the pillow, pillow moss. Can you see it? And look at the back. At some point this thing was alive, but look at the color. I, I love the color. From what I read, they use oils and natural ways of drying this, of preserving this. And I am going to be using every single piece as I can because it's just going to give that different type of texture. Like look at the sizes. They range from large to small. So I'm not gonna take the whole thing out just yet, but I wanna show you that it comes layer. So they make, I love when the shipping and the packaging is just nice, because I, I don't know if you can see this. So they have one layer of the mask and then the next one is underneath and I think that I have a third one. Yes, so I have three layers of these, so I have plenty. I think that these two, I am positive that these two boxes I got from the same person, just different varieties, okay. Oh, this one comes in a bag, okay, I guess I can just flip it, maybe that makes sense. Oh, maybe I needed to open it the other way. Oops, yeah, I think that make more sense. Nobody's paying me for these, you guys, but I'm just showing you exactly what I'm getting. <gasps> okay, oh, I love that. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh, this is so cool. Look at that. This one is different, like this one, the other piece that I show you has a lot of the roots at the bottom. But these guys, I feel like they just like cut it off and they don't, I don't have a lot of roots to play with. Look at that. But look at the difference in color. I'm going to show you another piece. This is the one for the first uh, package, and this is the second one. I prefer this color now that I'm looking at it, so I will try to use this first and use, you know, fill the packets with this, but I mean, I still love them. But this is like a, like a more natural looking green. And this right here, right here, this is green A. Just so you know which one, if I add links, just so you know which one, this is green A. And this is green B. I see the difference in the green already. See, this is a little bit more like a, like a brighter green. Oh my gosh, I am so excited, you guys. So those three boxes I got from Amazon, one I, I use two companies, one for the first bag and the last two boxes for the second company. I will try to add all of the links below. And these guys right here, I got from Hobby Lobby. I just got preserved moss, 
which these ones are more like, like a sheet. They're a little bit more flatter. And I also have these uh, Super Moss, which I think is the company, Super Moss. Uh, but this one is, has a different slightly texture. It has a, a different texture and I like that a lot. This right here as well has a different texture. And then these two right here, the only reason why I got these guys was because I like the, the little things that it has. Um, it has some farm moss and I just love the different textures that it has. So I may or may not add those. I am not sure yet, but that's all the masks that I have. So I am going to bring the frame over here. I am going to get my hot glue gun set up and everything that I need. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do first. Okay, so now that I have my frame here ready to go, I am not going to start by high gluing everything that I have. I am first going to place the pieces where I think that I want them and I am going to change things. This is going to be the top. My husband already has the, the two hooks on the back, so I know this is going to be the top. Um, so I just want some different textures going. I'm going to start with a few pieces and I really have no clue how that's going to go. This piece has a perfect um, 90 degree angle there. So I'm just going to take advantage of that and use that. One of the people that I um, watch a YouTube video from mentioned the importance of having um, a, a raised piece. You don't want your, your art, I mean, ideally, you wouldn't want your, your piece to be completely flat, like one level of mass all across. You want to have like little sections of high areas, another section of uh, flatter areas, if that makes any sense. And I found myself uh, drawn to the pieces that were like that. It's just like working with a puzzle. Okay, so as you can see, the top part is kind of uh, taking shape a little bit. I use the whole box and this is what I am getting. I like that it's kind of falling down towards the bottom of the piece. I think that I am going to keep that. And I am just going to forward placing the rest of the mask that I have. This is the one that I got from Hobby Lobby. This is just kind of like a sheet. You can tell it's like super, super skinny.
Okay. Okay, I think that I finally, finally, I am done gluing everything that I can possibly think of on this piece. Um, I had to go, I had to take a break because I ran out of glue sticks and I am really excited to show you guys. Look at that. Look at this piece. Look at this piece. I absolutely love, love this piece. It came out way better than I expected it. So now, I have the biggest mess here. Um, I have to clean it up and I have to prepare the wall where I'm going to hang it because I want to do something extra. <sighs> of course, more work. love how the piece turned out to be. What I am not in love with is the shade of green that I got from Lowe's. I'm um, not really sure that I'm, that I'm loving it, but I can easily change it. But to be honest, I am exhausted. I probably worked at least five hours from start to finish on this one piece. Um, am I glad that I did it? Of course, will I do it again? Probably, but not for a while. Um, I am going to list at the end of the video all of the tools that I use, where I got things. Uh, check the video description for links. I don't know if they'll still, I don't know if they'll, the links will still be good when you watch this video, but still check the description. I probably spent a good amount of money on it, to be honest, more than I was thinking. But for the price that these guys are going online, I definitely save a lot of money. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for being here and until the next time.